Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, this is gonna be a short uh, video and uh, arguably not necessary, but as I am open sourcing my backup and data preservation approach, and this is something I really care about, I am spelling out all the little details. So in this video, I wanna show you guys what I'm doing regarding a backup from an NASC to an NDISC, MDISC, excuse me. I did a couple of videos about the MDISC last week. It's a very, very interesting uh, form of technology. It's a form of optical storage media that is specifically archival grade. So your regular Blu-ray, for instance, uh, writes uh, data onto an inorganic layer. And the MDISC kind of tries to replicate, literally, uh, the process of etching data into rock. Like if you think about someone writing, you know, carving into rock. Um, so that's a difference. And uh, these MDISCs are supposed to to last for 100 to 1000 years so it's actually really impressive uh, it's about the best most durable offline cold data storage medium currently on the market occurring according to my research now i do own an nas uh, more classically for my youtube channel and my video work in general so this is kind of how i organize it i've showed this a bunch of times so my folder structure is 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 pretty uh pretty classic um or it's been seen at this point so you know, this is the way I work is I have a rendered folder, I have a stock folder, I dump my B-roll into the stock folder and then organize it according to 4K or a theme. And for rendered, I just kind of usually put it into this. Now my M-Discs, M-Discs are available in 25, 50 and 100 gig capacity. So um, depends really how active I am in generating video. Now there's probably a smarter way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing because I'm probably only going to need to burn one M disk a month to keep up with my current production, maybe even a little bit longer. So periodically, as in maybe once a week, um, I'm just going into the uh, the videos I have since my last M disk was burned. I'm clicking on properties, and we can see I'm now at two point five three gigs. So the M disk usable usable capacity on the twenty five uh, gigabyte ones is about twenty three point five gigs. So um, I try to kind of aim for 23. Now there's, I'm sure, a programmatic way to do this in uh, Windows, for instance. But what I do is I actually bundle up the archive and I create a new folder called Spillover, which is basically the stuff that was just a little bit above that 23 cutoff that I want to keep for the next burn. Um, and if I need to drop one or two files in there, that's what I'll do. And then once I have all my videos, what I'll, and this is why I said the, uh, this is why I'm doing it this way. I just do a right click and a download. And you can see I have the option to either download the individuals or download as a .zip. I'm actually downloading it as a zip because I don't really see much um, you know, reason. It's, this is just really a sale faith, sale faith, fail safe precaution. And what I'm doing instead is uh, labeling each M disk according to the month. So this one's gonna get labeled when it gets produced, you know, May to June YouTube archive. And uh, if I ever, for some reason, really need to uh, find a video I put up on YouTube in May, uh, that's on MDisk, I can just open up that, that particular file from my backup. I'm gonna be doing a video later today on how to uh, duplicate MDisks. You can either buy a hardware duplicator or you can also, um, you can also if, you, if you don't want to invest in more than your standard Blu-ray burner, there's also a way at the software level that you can burn an MDisk and say, hold on to that data. Or you could just, and this is another reason to use uh, archives rather than files, you can just have that archive and burn it twice onto two different MDisks. And one of them will be your offsite backup. And then you can just uh, post it to your friend or uh, however you want to do physical ar archival backup. So this is the old school-ish uh, non-cloud backup methodology for video backup, uh, three to one compliant, three copies of data, two data medium, one of those offsite, uh, but this will get you there. So this is my current uh, MDisk, uh, NAS to MDisk export process. And uh, that's about all there is to be said for it. Thanks for watching. 